Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at a keyboard that it's from a brand that I've known for many years and I've used their products whenever I've built a PC. I usually will lean towards Cooler Master cases or Cooler Master PSUs. I was not even aware they made keyboards, but I came across this I guess it's a sale they're doing to rebate. Um, not only is this keyboard uh, right now on sale, it's also part of a Cooler Master rebate plan that uh, for this keyboard you get $40 back, uh, like a Visa prepaid card, um, if you send in the UPC code and you purchase in the month of November. So this board uh, apparently normally lists for $109. Uh, it's MSRP. It's right now on sale on Amazon for seventy-six dollars, um, and this is the Cooler Master CK seven point one. Now, um, I was just taking a look because it's not hot swap. That's one of the things I usually don't go for boards that aren't hot swap unless I think it's worthwhile, you know, to actually take the time to um, unsolder the switches and put in some uh, Milmax socket so at least I have some choice of switches if I want to change it out but I had a $15 Amazon credit that I didn't even know about like Amazon fulfilled and this is fulfilled by Amazon so it came out to basically 60 bucks after I'm mean, 61 and with that $40 it'll basically come out to like $21 if I do decide to keep it so now it's a 65% with the knob we've seen this um layout before it's got the exploded keys and i do believe that it comes with the wrist rest but like i said it normally sells for 109 and it's uh 76 bucks so let's see how good of a keyboard this really is yeah because it says it's tactile rgb bluetooth master plus that must be the software and mechanical so we call it a hybrid mechanical now it has these stickers we'll go ahead and cut all right let's see what we get in a cooler master keyboard all right it, it says it has a removable top alum aluminum top cover so it looks like the top it's a shroud basically I guess we'll see here in a second fairly rigid uh, Plastic and dust cover. All right, that's basically the. I like that they didn't put Cooler Master in there. I, I mean, I know that that's the outline of their logo, but it's actually pretty cool. Uh, it's a foam rest rest. It looks to be. Let me see what the thickness of this guy is. It is 17 millimeters thick. Yep, 17. So, I mean. This is the first keyboard that I bought that came with the wrist rest inside of the box, uh, which is nice. I mean, I always recommend, I mean, if you're going to be spending any amount of time typing, use a wrist rest. Uh, make sure that your arms are angled properly and your wrists are angled properly. We got a braided USB-C to USB-A cable. It's uh, the same purple as on the inside. And it's a... Uh, nice long cable I'd probably say it's three meters or six feet all right this is a USB-C USB-A cable converter like one of those little blocks I don't know why they did it this way but I mean because you'd still if you're going into USB-C you still need a USB-C cable so like I, I, I don't know what they were thinking there so you can see it's a USB-A to USB-C instead of just a converter for the USB-A to USB-C because if you need to go into you know a C, C port on your laptop you're going to need another cable which is kind of like kind of defeats the purpose I don't know uh, let's take a look at the keyboard it does appear to have oh it looks like a protective thumb it's almost like um, 
tick tick hot temperatures. I can't remember the name of it at the moment. Alright, so we take off the protective film of that silver lining. Oh, we come to the silver lining. Now, for one of the first things I, I notice up front, it is actually kind of light. Um, it is kind of light for what I would thought was going to be a little bit more substantial of a board. Um, so this has a port right there. That's like an ejector, but you have to take some caps off. That is kind of... you got to take the knob and the caps off. Huh. Let's see. Now that's where the... okay, so... It does have a dongle. It has a, a little door, but... Oh, okay. So that's... That's the top frame. Comes off just like that, but... Trying to figure out what the point is. If it's uh, the spring sound so pingy, so pingy. Let's see. I have a steel plate. Well, they, at least they thought of this. Um, the other damn budget keeps a. Uh, very ingenious, uh, ingenious user uh, posted a fix for um, his 5075, I believe, and he basically took straws and put electrical tape around them and put them over the the, the lights and cut them because the light was bleeding into the case. And I thought that was pretty ingenious, pretty simple, and easy fix. Um, yeah, it looks like uh, we've got some screws. I'm not, this has got, a, I mean, there's a lot of little odd little things it's got in here. I mean, obviously that's the little ejector for the USB. See, I mean, that's a, <laughs> that's kind of wild. It's like, um, uh, so far I gotta say, I am not impressed, Cooler Master. I am not impressed. This, uh, this keyboard is, uh, little oddity. Um, we're trying to figure out why you guys think you can ask this much. Is it just the brand name? I mean, stabs are lubricated, but there's still a lot of rattle and tick. The springs are not, or the springs and the switches are not lubed. And I was thinking that I could unsolder them, but look, the LEDs are actually pushed through LEDs. So I can't even use the, t I have a tool that I could, because that's what I was thinking. I, I'll just use a tool, if I really like it, I'll just use a tool to take the tops off while they're still soldered in and lube up the oil, uh, the, sp the spring and the stem. But um, as you can see, the LED actually has gone through. This is a, uh, the last keyboard I saw like this was the Disco TKL for Mechanical Keyboards that came out, I believe, in 2016. Um, I haven't seen these through-hole LEDs used in a long time. And the switches are... They're TTCs. But that ping is strong with this one. It really is. So... I have to put this back on. Oh, that... I get it. That latch thing is for this to kind of snap back into place. Not for the USB. Alright, that makes more sense. Got to put this door back on. I really don't like this design. Uh... There's the, I had not seen the switch. So let's go ahead and turn it off in Bluetooth mode. That's a pretty bright RGB, but I mean, it's coming up above the switch, so I would expect it to be. Right, it does. 
I gotta admit, I really hate uh, when keyboards repurpose um, LEDs for their control. Um, and this kind of just crowds it up. The windows with the Macs, I mean, make some extra keys. That's kind of, oh, we're just gonna cheapen out. Why make two keys? Or, you know, a key of each. We'll just put both legends. I mean, that's, uh, I don't know. It's kind of, kind of cheap, in my opinion. I, I, I'm honestly wondering why it is they think uh, this keyboard is worth that much. I, I, I hate to sound that critical, but I, I mean, I honestly, I'm just, why do you think this keyboard is worth that much? I mean, I mean, do you think that's a big cable? No, but it won't fit. That's how far the hole is recessed. Let's see if this one will fit. Just bigger. I'm gonna take a look at the quick start guide here just to see the LED controls. Um, Q to cycle through some colors. So it's a basic set of solid colors, though it changes some for. All right, so let's get technical here. Today we're taking a look at the Cooler Master CK721 in space gray. It is a knobbed three mode, 65% keyboard. It is um, made by Cooler Master. It retails or the MSRP is $109.99. It has a chin that sits at 19 millimeters with a back that sits at 27 millimeters. If you use the first set of feet, you're gonna raise the back to 33 millimeters with a nine degree typing angle. And if you use the last set of feet, you're gonna be going up to a 37 millimeter back height with an 11 degree typing angle. Now this does come uh, stock with, uh, uh, in the, the one that I got is a TTC Browns. They are definitely stock, they are unlubed. They're soldered to the board. This is not a hot swap keyboard. And the LEDs are the four pin pass through. So they're literally soldered through each switch. So even if you wanted to desolder, I mean you can, but you'd have to run the LEDs through or replace them altogether. So it's um, not a board that's really meant to be modified. It da does have an aluminum uh, case uh, or top case that's extremely, extremely thin. It brings in this uh, complete keyboard fully loaded to a weight of 721 grams. It does include a little pocket uh, for the USB uh, C G dongle, um, or the USB dongle, I should say. And also there's a little button in there to release the latch that will take the extremely thin aluminum top on. I, I repeat that because it's just extremely, it, it's a lot less substantial than I expected it to be. All right, so um, yeah, I just, uh, I, I'm, I'm not going to keep this keyboard. I'm going to send it back. I do not feel that it, I mean, it's even worth the $20 that it would end up costing me after the rebates and everything like that. Um, it's just, Nope. Um, I, uh, <laughs> like I said, I, I like that design element and that's about it. I wish I had more positive things to say about it, but I, whether it's using an old PCB or an older PCB design, uh, which I just don't think, I just don't know why, you know, a PCB factory would go back to making them this way. It's, it's harder. It's, I mean, you're adding four more solder points instead of just you know melting on the uh, uh, the SMD LEDs. So having to go you know put the LED through the switch. And I like I said I haven't seen that since my Disco TKL, which was I believe 2016. Anyway, 
I'm going to leave you guys with a stock sound test. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of ping in it. Um, I I can't recommend this keyboard, but you know. I don't know. I'm trying to say something positive. I really am. I'm trying to be a little bit more objective, but I mean, we all are subjects. Obviously, we all have our opinions, and that one's mine, but I'm presenting my case as to why that's my opinion. Anyway, I hope everyone is having a wonderful holiday season. Happy Thanksgiving. Keep calm and keyboard on until our next transmission.